We're going back out live now to Kelly Lang in Beverly Hills and Dr. Amron, um, and uh, we're hoping that the procedure is almost done. And how is Elizabeth doing, Kelly? Huh? You, Kel Kelly. Oh, and then, let's there see, she I is. I'll put it back here. Kelly. Kelly. Kelly, can you hear us? Put your earpiece in, Kelly. We're talking to you out here in the studio. Yes, go ahead. Hi. We're ready to check back with you. Find out how it's going. Oh, is Elizabeth we, done yet? Here we are. No, it isn't done yet. Um, but I'm gonna, I've got, uh, we just purloined these pictures from the doctor's wall. And I want to show you the difference here between uh, before and after. This is the buttocks right. area. This is before, this is after. You can see the definite difference in girth here. Now, this is the upper arm before, and it's marked where the doctor is going to suction the fat. Uh -huh. And below, you can see where the fat is gone. And then on the chin, Anne and Catherine, you can just see the difference. No explanation mm -hmm. needed. Yeah, it's quite remarkable. Now, um, it is remarkable, and it looks very aggressive. You've been looking at what Dr. Amron is doing, and I want to ask Elizabeth, um, how, what exactly are you feeling? Actually, I don't feel any pain at all, but what I do feel is pressure when he presses down mm -hmm. in order to move his cannula forward and backward, and I also feel his left hand pressing so that the cannula doesn't go any further than the area that he's numbed but it doesn't feel painful at all. Kelly? And Dr. Ann had a question. She wanted to know if the fat is going to come back. Well, Ann, it, the fat does not come back because you are removing fat tissue in the area. Now, if you gained weight, you can get fat in other areas, but this fat does not come back. That is good to know, and I have another question as well. I want to just review. Go ahead, for, Ann. For people, Kelly, who might be joining us late, this is tumescent liposuction, and would you have the doctor run through for us one more time why this is different from the old-fashioned liposuction? Yes, Ann wants you to explain again for people who have just joined us on Women to Women, Dr. Amron, what the difference is between the traditional liposuction and pure tumescent lipo. Well, I'm doing it completely under local anesthesia, not using any general anesthesia at all. It really reduces the chance of bleeding and is a very safe technique with absolutely no deaths reported with this way of doing it, following safe guidelines. And you have injected, and Elizabeth, Kelly, he's injected yeah. water and, uh, and a solution of medicine into her thighs where he's taking the fat out, and that helps yes, too, right? Yes, lidocaine. And we don't have a monitor here. We're not allowed to have one in the uh, operating room, in the OR, and, uh, and that's why I have to repeat everything to him. So I will do exactly that. Tell, tell our viewers what you inject for the local anesthesia. Well, this is a diluted salt water solution with a little bit of lidocaine in it, epinephrine, which is adrenaline, and sodium bicarbonate to buffer it, and that's it. Kelly, the doctor has already said he's taking out several quarts of fat. How much is too much? How much is too much, Catherine wants to know. Uh, you've mentioned that you're going to take two to three quarts of fat, liquid fat, out of Liz's uh, t tummy and thighs. How much is too much? Well, the American Academy of Cosmetic Surgery has defined the safe upper limits of being four liters, which is a little bit more than four quarts of fat at any one time. And, you're and how long have you been? You're taking two yeah. today, Kelly, right? Yes, two and a half quarts, is that right? I expect about two to two and a half quarts of fat from her. Yeah, and she'll be done. In other words, this is light lipo. You know, yes, Liz is not very heavy. This is a person that just has some disproportionate areas, um, but actually takes as long to do a person like this to get all the fat out as, as, as really a person that's heavier. The fat does come out faster and easier on a person that's heavier. And, and Kelly, what, I'm how, sure that's the maximum you can take out. Well, once again, four liters of fat at any one time. And again, you, cannot, you can only put in so much fluid at one time. You have to make sure you're not exceeding safe limits with that or safe limits of lidocaine. And Kelly, now yes, that our Catherine? viewers at home are totally fascinated by this, I'm sure they're wondering exactly how much is it going to cost? Yes, of course. It's always the last question, mm -hmm. Dr. Amron. But what is the procedure? Let's talk about the procedure that you're doing on Elizabeth right now. What does that cost? I would probably, this would probably be about $3,500. The, the fees range from about $3,000 to about $4,500. And is that the max? Mm, about. Yeah. <laughs> now you're going to have her up and walking as soon as this is finished. That's actually very important. I, I do want my patients up and walking about an hour after the procedure. And this is, is an important thing to reduce the chance or prevent clot formation. Uh, additionally, Liz will take a two mile walk tomorrow to help mobilize the fluids and once again reduce the chance of clot formation. And by the way, we're going to catch up with Liz on her two-mile walk tomorrow. We'll show you that on Monday. I want to know, Elizabeth Wong, nurse, anesthetist, L.A. County, that's where you work. How can you do this and be so cool? 
Well, the operating room is my home, and I feel completely com com comfortable with Dr. Am Amron doing the surgery for me. So I think that takes most of the stress off of me. See, yeah, she was offered 10 milligrams of Valium, and she turned it down. She doesn't have any, uh, uh, any sedation whatsoever. Yeah. No, no sedation whatsoever. <laughs> So yeah, you're, you're lying here feeling happy that uh, this fat, these little problem areas that you had, are going to be gone. Yes, I'm completely pleased that I'm having the surgery today and that this problem will finally be alleviated. And what made you want to share your surgery with our viewers on Women to Women, Elizabeth? Well, I think I just want people to feel comfortable with the idea of having surgery and not to be afraid. And are you, how do you feel about getting up and walking right after this? I think that's one of the benefits of not having any sedation. And like Dr. Amron said, I'm completely comfortable with that idea because it is very beneficial for people to get up and walk after they've had surgery. How long has this pure tumescent surgery been perfected, Dr. Amron? Well, this, uh, this technique was actually developed in the mid-80s, so it has been around for a while, but more recently, and it has become more popular, people are not really doing it by pure tumescent liposuction. And once again, that article where those patients died, it wasn't done by pure tumescence. Okay. So this is a, a, Thanks, this Kelly. Is a procedure that he's doing that's different. Thanks very much, and We'll catch up with Elizabeth and Dr. Amron on Monday. Okay, Kelly. It is so important for them to walk because those blood clots, they can build up, and that can actually kill you. So that's a it'll problem. be really good to see her up and moving around tomorrow. By the way, if you at home would like to contact Dr. David Amron, his phone number is... 310-275-2467. And best of all, he has agreed to join us here on Women to Women on Monday, and we're going to open our phone lines. If you have questions about liposuction, the doctor will be here to answer those questions, and um, Elizabeth will be here too. So we'll get a good look at her before and after. She is brave. She is a good <laughs> scout.